So after she kills uh, Donnie, this is the this is actually like the weirdest part. She goes and consoles her children. They are injected with that. It makes their breathing slow and stop temporarily until the tube is placed. Oh, then, I'm never gonna surgery. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna so, find out. Are you using my McCarran on me? Because I'm out of here. My wrists hurt thinking about it. Hi, I'm Amy. I'm Brittany. And this is Homemade Homicide. We like to cook and talk about murder. Yes, yes we do. So what are we talking about today? Uh, today, actually, I'm gonna tell a story, which is kind of fun. Her name is Vicki Dawn Jackson. Good. What are we cooking? We are cooking green curry. It's Thai, mm -hmm. it's delicious. And I can't wait to get started so we can finish this episode and eat dinner. <laughs> Very excited. I love green curry. Love green curry. <laughs> All right, cool. So how about you get started, and then I will get started. Okay, so I'm going to turn on my pan. Mm -hmm. You have to sing like that when you turn it on, otherwise it doesn't work. I, it, it, that's the way it works. Yeah. A little bit of olive oil. Olive oil. Now, I've already chopped up some onion We were prepared garlic. today. Yes. <laughs> I chopped up onion and garlic. So I'm gonna add that right away. Okay. There we go. And then what? And then, once I get this in, I am going to salt and pepper my first layer. Okay. Okay, you always wanna season your food. I learned that from Food Network. <laughs> So, season the layers is what she's saying, people. Season the layers, yes. that is what I'm saying. Okay, cool. Then I think, are you just gonna saute that for a second? Yep. All right, great. Then I'm gonna start talking about Vicki Dawn Jackson. Yes. Um, she did have a nickname in case you were wondering, I'm sure that you were. She has been called the Angel of Death. Don't love that. I don't love it because of the reason. The Angel of Death, it makes it seem like she was well, I mean, it's like, Angel of Death, so it's not like it's Angel of Heaven. I know, or but it, like just, that. it makes me feel like she's. I don't know. It kind of glorifies her a little bit. Like, it makes her feel like she's not a bad person. Mm -hmm. Or it makes me feel like she's not a bad person when I hear that name. Okay. But she is. She is. <laughs> so, because of the people that she, like, went after, none of this was mercy killing. Right. It was all very rude shit, but whatever. Okay. So, she. She worked at this place. It was called the Nakona General Hospital. It was in Nakona, Texas. And from Texas, Texas, from 2000 to 2001, she went after 25 people. She killed 10 of them. She is suspected of killing another 10. And she made attempts on five people's lives. Wow. 25 different people one year. That's crazy. Yeah. Again, like I said, rude. She was busy. Yeah, yeah, she really was. Um, she was busier than a one-arm paper hanger. <laughs> what the hell does that mean? It's a one-arm. Okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. Um, so in the year 2000, uh, Vicky, she was working at the Nakona Hospital, the General Hospital, and it seems like something snapped in her, right? So she. Unfortunately, has a lot of really, really bad stuff happen to her at that time. She um, loses custody of her children, but her children were actually the ones that decided to leave. Mm -hmm. And it was because of her third marriage. Um, the guy that she was married to, unfortunately, the marriage was kind of going downhill. Mm -hmm. And he was reportedly abusive, but we don't know in, in what way necessarily, whether it be emotional or if it was physical in some way. Right. So the kids wound up leaving and they went and lived with their dad so they chose to or the they court? chose to oh they did yeah so I have three cut up um, boneless skinless chicken thighs I like dark meat for this recipe she lost a really close family member and also she miscarried while arguing with her third husband like fight arguing yeah or just... like fight arguing not physical fighting but like arguing Oh, oh yeah. okay. I was thinking maybe. So, unfortunately, you know, she lost the child. Um, so, where she, you know, of course, went to next was to start murdering people. 
As one would do. As, as one would do. And December 11th, 2000, she killed Donnie Jennings. Donnie Jennings is a woman. She was 100 years old. Believe it or not, Donnie Jennings actually still doing well. Doing real good. Like, I guess they, they said she was spry. <laughs> so was this an old folks home she was in? No, she no. Was it was just a general hospital. So it was people would come and just recover there from just basic surgeries. It wasn't anything serious. So she was going after people that, like, weren't sick and dying or, you know, recovering from some massive surgery or something like right. that. She was going after people that were like, hey, I'm leaving in a couple of days. Wow. Yeah. All right. I know. And... Don Jennings is, she's no different. Donnie, sorry, not Don. I mean, I guess you can call, whatever, it doesn't matter. Anyway, <laughs> Donnie Jennings was no different. She was reportedly by some of the coworkers of Vicky, I guess she was a little abusive. Like, she would, um, oh, she would, like, verbally abuse Vicky, just kind of, like, yell at her and stuff. And then I guess she hit her a couple of times. <laughs> so the model patient. <laughs> right, right. Uh, she was not very patient. <laughs> yeah, you are very welcome for that. So, unfortunately, that is uh, what led to her demise. But I don't understand. She was a hundred. She was one hundred yeah, years been around old. How... Much longer, right? But how badly would that? She could have just sat back and like watched her. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like a piece of paper being thrown from across the room would hurt worse than being hit by by Donnie. <laughs> well, yeah. I, I mean. Maybe that's rude of me. I don't know, but like, well, I I'm love sure it's the rejection that made her feel bad. I roll. I roll. I roll. I'm gonna move on from that. So anyway, she kills her, but she uses what she uses is poison. So it's this place. It's not place. It's this stuff called myvicarium, and it is actually used for patients that need to have a breathing tube inserted. They are injected with that. It makes their breathing slow and stop temporarily until the tube is placed. Oh, then, I'm never going to surgery. I know. I know. <laughs> I'm going to so, find out. Are you using my McCarran on me? Because I'm out of here. My wrists hurt thinking about it. Yes. So, so it is... It's tablespoon you can use more or less the green curry is a little spicy by itself mm -hmm. but you know it's never spicy enough I do so you, agree with that. you want to mix all that in and get that cooking really good okay so on with your story yes sorry. on with the story so after she killed uh donnie this is the this is actually like the weirdest part she goes and Oh, 
Oh my god, I was in the hospital for back then. She was. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Never again. <laughs> the ambulance had to come into her home and get her out of bed. <laughs> Shut up. After all of this happens, the the specialist starts really looking into things and then the staff gets together and they're like, something's really fishy. Two more people have heart attacks. After they have heart attacks, the staff is like, hey, we're putting this together. Vicky was in the room after these people are having heart attacks and like dying and she's basically just walking into the nurse's station being like, hey, that guy's making weird noises. Everybody's like, what the, what? What is going on? She didn't call from the room? No, she's not even calling from the room. She's injecting these people. It's not funny. She's injecting these people with a myvicarium and then just walking into the nursing station, reporting their heart attack or them making strange noises, and then just like strolls on. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's, it's wild. It's wild. I don't, I don't fully understand it, but whatever. So they decide to, they tell law enforcement. Law enforcement is like, all right, well, let's figure this out. Like, we can't. We can't actually say that she did it, so let's set up some a type of sting operation. So the higher ups in the hospital are in on it. The staff is not really in on it necessarily because they want to figure out who's doing it. Oh. Kind of like a sixty days in situation, right. but it's not jail. Right. Um. So they set up the sting operation, and what they do is they refill all of the myvicarium in the little. I don't know what you call that room. It's where the room where they keep all the drugs and stuff. So it's in the, the drug room. Sure. So in the drug Sounds room, yeah, <laughs> all in a drug room. In the drug room, they refill all of the myvicarium, and they just kind of set up hidden cameras, and they're like, "We're just gonna wait." So I'm adding not... bamboo shoots, which oh God, you have to have the bamboo shoots. Yeah. It's very good. The law enforcement sets up these cameras, and they're not sitting there and actively watching them. They're kind of reviewing the footage every few hours or something like that. Right. And that gives Vicky the opportunity to go in, get a bottle of my vicarium. So she goes into Don Lee Reed's room, injects him with the my vicarium, again, strolls into the nursing station, says, hey, this guy's making weird noises. The nurses are able to spring into action. They revive him. 
he survives. So they ask wow. him. Yeah, so they ask him after reviving him, like, what do you remember? And he goes, Vicky came into my room. February 17, 2001 is when she went into Don Lee Reed's room, right? Two days later, they found a syringe in Vicky and Kirk was her third husband. Vicky and Kirk's trash at their home, they find a syringe with my vicarium in it. So then they're like, oh, she did it. You know, like they already knew she did it, but they were like, okay, now we have some kind of evidence. So then that day she is fired. Okay, so this is still February, 2001. Yeah, I know. And from February 2001 to uh, June of 2001, they're not able to get permission to exhume the bodies of the suspected murder victims yeah. of Vicky, right? So they're finally able to do that in June. And then they're like, oh, hey, we exhumed all the bodies. There's my vicarium and all of their systems. She definitely did it. So then she finally gets a Wow. She finally gets arrested in July of 2001. That's nuts. Right. So I just, sorry, yeah. interrupting again. Go ahead. I just added in my red bell pepper, and I added in, you want fresh green beans. Canned green beans will not work for this. Ooh. So don't even try it. <laughs> don't. Don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> she will find you. I will find you. And tell you it's not gonna work. Yeah, I'll find you and tell you why. <laughs> All right. So, so Vicky has been arrested in July of 2001, and it's not even until 2006 that she goes to trial. They were supposed to have her daughter. Her daughter's name is Jennifer. Mm -hmm. Jennifer was supposed to testify against her, and. Vicky decides that she doesn't want to put her daughter through that, so she decides to plead uh, no contest. Wow. Yeah. So how long is she in prison for? Uh, she is in prison for life. For life. Life in prison. She is With currently... No I believe she does have parole, and also she is trying to appeal as of right now. She's actually, she's tried to appeal a few times. They always try to appeal. Yeah, and since she pleaded no contest, I mean, she can't. She's right. like, oh, I haven't said anything yet. So basically, and she, this chick, dude, buttoned up. Like, she doesn't say anything. She doesn't talk about the murders. She doesn't, there's like nothing about she's her. Not, she's not telling her silly. Yeah, she's not telling nobody. Which. Interesting. Kind of smart. Uh, can of coconut milk. Goes in this baby. And then nice. another can of coconut milk goes in this baby. Goes in that baby. Yes. Mm, we like coconut milk. We do like coconut milk. Well, that's so, kind of that's kind of it as far as this goes, but a little bit of her backstory. I was gonna say, what is like what was her childhood like? Dude, know. she had a Apparently, she had a great childhood. Like, her parents were, they stayed together. They didn't get divorced. She didn't come from a broken home. She didn't do anything like um, torture small animals or hurt her brother or anything like that. She, they lived in Indiana, then they moved to Texas. And That's the problem. <laughs> so, their moving pattern went like this. Indiana, Texas, Florida, and then back to Texas. And Nokana General Hospital is in Nokana, Texas. Okay, I'm adding your favorite tablespoon and a half of fish sauce.
You ain't your beans. We're cutting that shit out. We're cutting <laughs> no, we're not. We're cutting Don't that cut shit it. out. Don't gross. cut it, Albert. Cutting it. Cut it, Albert! So Vicky and Carson were married um, from 1984 and in 1990, um, yeah, 1984 and then in 1996 he divorces her because he said that she became a boring nurse. It's like, all right, man, don't blame her for the fact that you didn't like her in the first place. You're just... You're just using well, that and excuse. Well, boring. I mean, what, the nurses, it's not like they come in and dance and sing for you. Exactly. And she was actually, after the kids were born, it was when they were in diapers, she was actually able to put herself through nursing school and she did all of that. So it's, I kind of, I think that's great. If you're able to do it, man, then go ahead and do it. Yeah. It's exactly. fantastic. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's sad how that happened, but whatever. Yeah. Um, so that was her second marriage and her third marriage was to Kirk Jackson, who he's the one later on after they they find the syringe in her and um, his trash. So her <laughs> trying to blame it on him. Yeah, <laughs> Kirk did it. Uh, no, but so Kirk Jackson was her third husband. He he was kind of more of a partier than the other husbands. He would like he would drink at the house. He was um, just loud and obnoxious. He would keep the kids up. He was reportedly abusive. And I think I had said that earlier, but. You know, it just, and that marriage also didn't go well. So that's, it's unfortunate. She did have a good childhood growing up, but she did have a lot of turmoil in her love life, which it can kind of set people off, I guess. Like, it's, I guess, but then you start, well, I don't know, you take it out on, you know, take it out on people that aren't even sick. Right. Whatever. Exactly. And what do you is, do, man? It is unfortunate because that's whatever's going on in your life. It doesn't have to do with exactly an innocent person. You know, if there's an innocent party that you're trying to go after because of the unfortunes, the unfortunes, the, the unfortunate things in yours, then it's, I just don't get that. Okay. I'm not chopping up my basil. I like my Thai basil to be Well, now Thai basil. You can get at most Asian grocery stores. Can you? You can. Most, a lot of grocery stores now are starting to kind of carry it, but not all the time. So if you can, if you can find it at your local grocery store. Actually, cool. You can sometimes. I sent Jay, I was making spaghetti and I sent him to go get basil and he came home with Thai. Oh, no way, really? I was like, it says Thai, but it's okay. Whatever. Yeah, it's got more of a licorice flavor and the stalks are like purple. So that's how you can tell the difference. Yeah. It smells good though. Yeah, don't use, don't use regular basil. It won't work. It's also great in pho. If you recall from our Yes, it's episode. delicious in pho. So I add that, then I'm going to add lime juice. These are from my limes in the backyard. Well, while she's doing that, I would like to take this moment to remind you there is a subscribe button down at the bottom. You can definitely hit that button. There's nothing wrong with hitting it. Hit it, baby, <laughs> hit it! Hit it! Now, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Be sure to comment. Get your friends to hit it! <laughs> Get your friends! Get your mom to hit it! <laughs> we just want to remind you that if you do comment, we will respond to you. If you have questions about anything that we've talked about, whether it be the food that we're making or whether it be the story that we're telling, we would love to get a chance yeah. to, you know, give you more information or just respond to any kind of comments you might have. Hit that subscribe. Yeah, and hit that subscribe button. So, All right, so this is done. You wanna get a plate out? Yes, I do. Okay. So I like a lot of lime juice in my Curry. Very excited. Uh, 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 uh. We do love some green curry. This is delicious. The purple spoon. Okay, so I made jasmine rice earlier. Woo! Mm -hmm. Jasmine rice is fantastic. I also love basmati. So a little bit of rice. And you want to do this in a bowl. Yeah. So you capture all. Yes, because otherwise the juices will go all over your plate. So that is the story of Vicki Dawn Jackson. Yes, it is. She was crazy. The angel of death. And this is Thai green curry. Yeah. Mm-hmm.
Is it not to die for? Oh. Hmm. I guess it is. Make this curry. Watch the video. And subscribe.